Alright guys, so uh, this is going to be a advanced Blender tutorial. Uh, I'm going to show you guys how to grab a different clothing or outfit to fit onto a different body. Uh, this is going to be a little advanced. Again, I will show you step by step on how to do uh, just that. Um, at the bottom here I have screencast so you guys can slow down the video and follow along. Uh, so yeah, let's get started. So the outfit that I'm going to fit onto this uh, ghostly female body will be this one, the from the ghostly femboy canine. Um, as you can see, this is going to need a lot of reshaping and editing to fit onto the female. But yeah, so uh, first off, let's um, delete what you don't need. I'm not going to need the outfit, so I'm going to delete that. And don't need this hair, so I'm going to delete that too. And I'll probably get rid of the fluff, so it's easier to work with. Alright, so uh, every ghostly canine base will come in pieces. Just for editing purposes. Uh, you can just uh, get to this part and hit Control or hit A. Select everything. Uh, make sure you select uh, what you want to join to. So Control J is to join. Once you join that, you have this as one piece, right? Okay, so uh, once you're there, grab the outfit, Control C to copy, and then paste Control V into your uh, blender here. So yeah, this is going to need a lot of uh, reshaping, and uh, I can show you how guys how to do that. So a lot of people use either edit, uh, proportional editing, or sculpt sculpt tool to uh, change the, the mesh here. Um, both both method is good. Uh, I will show you what I would do. Um, for this, I would first try to separate everything into pieces. To do that, hit 1 to go to front view, hit Z to go to wireframe mode, and then hit tab to go to edit mode. Uh, you want to hit V to get the box selection. Box selection will grab whatever's in this area. Hit P to select uh, separate by selection, so that will separate it. So now this is separate from the rest of the outfit, and do the same for the bottom here. Shorts here. Edit mode, and then B select, uh, box select, P to separate by selection. There you go. Now this is separate, and this is separate. Okay. So I'm going to grab the short, uh, click on the short, go up here to object mode, change it to sculpt mode. On the side here, you'll have all the sculpt tools. Um, I will grab the grab tool, which is very useful in reshaping things. Um, make sure you also have the mirror mode. This is mirror by X uh, axis. Uh, you'll mirror both sides, so you don't have to do one side at a time. Just go ahead and start pulling. Just like that. All right, and that should look good. Might push it in here a little bit. All right, it's looking good. Okay, so now that's done. I'm going to switch to the the top. Select this and go to sculpt mode. Okay, this is going to be a little bit tricky because again, this uh, outfit. It did not start with uh, any chest, so I'm just gonna pull this out around the shape of the breast. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. You just want to get the general shape of the uh, the outfit, something like that. I'm gonna pull the middle out a little bit more. Okay. That's good. Actually, uh, let's see. I'm pretty sure this body has a uh, has a uh, blend shape to move the breast inwards, as if you know it is constricted and pushed together by clothing. Let's see, boobs out. 
Okay, okay. So, uh, moves out. I generally have this uh, as the base E, which is um, the default, um, you know, mesh uh, deformation. So, when you right click on this arrow and then apply a select shape key to basis, it's going to grab that shape key and replace it as default. So now this will be boops out. I'm gonna just this so it's actually you know the same as the name. Uh when you put this value to one, it's gonna go back to boops out, pulling the boops out. And this is better just for um putting clothing that is a little more tight fitting. Because normally that's how clothes are, just they push your body parts in, just constricts it. Uh, let's see. Okay, I think that should be good. Okay, I'm going to let's see unhide, unhide that outfit that I hid. So outfit one. Okay, uh, so it's popping up on the top here. I'm going to grab the sculpt tool again, pull this out. It's looking the way I want it. So, as you can see, it's it's a little it's a little janky. It's a little sharp. In edit mode, uh, you'll see how it's kind of, you know, sharp in some corners. Um, this is due to not having enough uh, uh, edge uh, edge loops or vertices, and it's going to affect how it moves with the bone. You rig it, so. What I would recommend is adding more loops. Um, it it's a way of subdividing, but selectively subdividing areas that you want. I don't recommend just hitting subdivide because uh, you'll have uh, these end polygons where there's five points, which isn't good. So I don't recommend that. So the proper way to do that is Grab one um one edge, hit Alt and then select that edge. Uh this is gonna be the uh reference point. And when you hit control R, it's gonna make a yellow line. This yellow line will basically make a, another edge loop. So you can make one here, 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 anywhere you want. But I will make it across from here. And from this you just kinda want to make more edge loops. That way, when you reshape it, it's going to look a lot smoother. Just try to find areas that you think will need more polys. So, so like this, this. All right, I, th I think that's good. I might put one in the middle here. And one right here. All right. With that, um, it's going to be a lot smoother. So, uh, one way to do this is uh, in the edit mode, you're going to select one point here, and make sure you select the same point as well from both sides. Uh, hit Control Plus. It's going to select. Uh, it's going to gradually select whatever is connected to. Um. You're going to hit the smooth tool, which is W and then smooth here, smooth vertices. Uh, before you do that, uh, I would try to not select these areas because it's going to also smooth that area. You don't want to smooth that. You want to keep the general shape of it. Um, okay, uh, to fix that, hit C. You'll have the sele uh, brush selection tool. It's going to you know, select what you want to brush over. but uh, with this, hit the middle mouse and just kind of, uh, just kind of, just erase this edge. All right, that's good because uh, I don't want to affect the edge here. Otherwise, it'll kind of stretch it when you smooth it. Okay, uh, now you can go ahead and smooth it. Just hit it a couple times, smooth, smooth, smooth. As you can see, it's a lot smoother. 
And if you hit uh, wireframe mode, Z, you'll see that I can also pull this up a little bit more. Uh, all right, so um, let's pull this up. Sculpt tool. Grab this, pull it up a little bit more. Hit Z tool to go into wireframe and see how it shapes. I'm going to also push this in. Okay, and this as well. And again, this is going to take uh, practice just to get the hang of it. But once you get it to something like this, and this looks good, making sure the shoulders aren't poking out. Okay. All right. So that's looking good. Uh, I might pull this in, actually. Seems like the trims are getting stretched way too much. All right. And from here, I'd probably give it one more smooth. So I'd select one point here. Make sure you select the other point. Like that. I'm gonna try to carefully select this area. C tool. Uh, you can also grab this edge loop. So let's shift click and then control. Control. All right, and then hit W and then smooth again. All right, sweet. And again, you can switch between edit mode by hitting tab and then like tab again to go to sculpt mode. Let's create a quick workflow. All right, so that's looking good. Let me push this in. All right. Uh, for the shorts, I might also do a little editing here. Now, if you want to keep the bulge, you can. Um, I'm going to remove it. Just more, more stuff to show you guys. Uh, to fix this, I wouldn't recommend um pushing this in too much because it's gonna affect this and also affect the drawstring. It's gonna stretch it like horribly like this. Um. To do this, because the uh, sculpt tool does not have a way to affect what's connected, um, you want to use edit mode or edit proportional editing, which I can show you guys right now. Edit mode uh, at the top here, or if yours is at the bottom, it is the little circle with the little curve bell here, and there's going to be an arrow here. You're going to have two uh, options: connected only and projected from view. I I normally use. I, this one, I either have it on or off. But when it's off, uh, when you select a area, hit G to move things, you'll have a circle. It will move whatever is in this area, this uh, in the area of this circle. Also, um, I have the X mirror here, so whatever I move from one side, it's going to affect the other. Same as the sculpt tool. But if you don't want that, you can also remove it. So uh, again, back to what connected only. Connected only basically means it will only move, you know, whatever is connected to that vertice. As you can see, it's not it's not moving the drawstring in the circle area effect, right? So this is very useful for tweaking little areas that you know you don't want to mess with everything else. So right here, I might start with just smoothing. So Control Plus to select that general area. Hit W, smooth, smooth just a bunch. I'll grab these points here because they seem to be protruding out the most. I would pull these in. And make sure you go from front view to side view. It's very useful. 
one uh, number pad one, number pad three for the side. Okay. So just slowly push it in. It doesn't have to be perfect because uh, at the end you're gonna smooth the vertices. This part looks kind of sharp, so I'm gonna grab these. And do try to make sure you grab the same number of vertices on both sides. You want to keep this as mirrored as possible. Otherwise, uh, I will show you guys what happens if you don't keep keep it uh, mirrored. So let's say I move this slightly. So in the middle here, it's not uh, both sides is not mirrored anymore. So when you hit the mirror tool, it's gonna look like this. This part is perfectly mirrored somewhat because um, it's taking in account the vertices from both sides. If it's in you know the same uh, same point, it's going to move. But this point was affected, and it is now not mirrored. So that's why it looks janky. That's why I recommend making sure everything you select is uh, mirrored. So I often do mirror checks once in a while. So back to this. Smooth, smooth, smooth. As you can see, this is the, where the growing is. So you kind of want to push it in where it is. Oops. Put down the radius. Oops. Like that. I'm going to keep this down. And push this in. Oops. Might pull this out a little bit. Okay, I might want to also pull out the drawstring, so I'm going to deactivate this. Pull this out. Perfect. And turn that back on. Smooth again. Now, normally those, there's going to be a bit of weird shadowing here with shading. Uh, I would I'll go to Substance Painter and erase the uh, the shading on the shading layer. Layer, uh, just to get rid of this. So let's put this here, here. Smooth that out. Keep smoothing. I will probably pull this back a little bit more. Okay, I'm gonna check the sides. All right, it's looking the way I want it. Oops, I'm gonna pull this back out again. All right. All right, and uh, next I will do these stockings. So, let's see. This, I wouldn't use the sculpt tool. I'd probably use the edit proportional editing. Scale this up a little bit. And always get used to using the alt and then clicking one of the edges here. It's gonna select the whole, whatever's connected to the edge and then let's pull that out. Shift this over here. Pull that along the axes here. Alright, it's looking pretty good. Um, pull this out. All right, it's looking good. I'm just making sure that there's any imperfection. I'm probably gonna pull this in a little bit. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah, and uh, after you get to this point, just do some final checking, making sure you're shaping whatever you want. Uh, next, I will be showing you guys how to um, properly weight paint this. Um, it does have some weight paint, so what weight paint has, uh, all the weight paint data is stored in the vertex group. So you'll find it here. Um, so this mesh has ver uh, vertex group. Um, the leg bone. So if you delete these, you will not. You will lose the weight paint data, so it will not move with the leg. So go to uh, weight paint, just up top here, and then select weight paint. Uh, do make sure that you are in uh, start pose mode, so that you can also move your weight paint as you. You uh, uh, do edits. Uh, also, one thing I do remember is Blender by default, I think, does have a weird lock. For example, if your pose mode is um, locked on that particular mode and you can't change it uh, to weight paint mode by selecting other things, make sure you have this unselected. Because if, again, I'll, I'll select it just for explanation. So if I go to weight paint mode, I cannot click, I cannot click um, this uh, mesh at all. I am right clicking, cannot click it. Because it, it is locked to one mode, so you do not want that. So unselect that. So back to what I was saying, make sure your armature is on pose mode, and then right click what you want to weight paint, and uh, oops, uh, weight paint. Oh, uh, also, as you can see, there's going to be um, these flip bones. These are the um, the hip fix for the uh, full body in VR chat. You can also just remove it by going into here model option just remove it's gonna revert back to normal but uh, do make sure that when you do export again uh, you add it again otherwise it's going to mess your FBX inside unity so I'm just gonna remove it for now just for simplicity okay so to being to start we painting oh uh, forgot uh, this is not connected to the armature at all so to do that, I will join all the outfit parts together. So it's one piece again. As you can see on the side here, this is the armature. Everything under the armature will move based on the rigging. This is outside the rig, so it will not move at all. right? So what you want to do is uh, select the outfit, um, shift, and then click the armature. Can be either in object mode or pose mode. Uh, what you want to do is hit, I think, Control P. Yep, Control P, and hit Armature Deform. So Armature Deform is going to basically move all the uh, the parts together. Or hold on. Okay, there you go. Uh, just move the outfit to. Be seen here, so it's underneath. All right, as you can see, it is sort of weight painted, but not perfect. This is due to the previous weight paint that is stored in the vertex group from the Femboy K9. Um, what you can do is edit what you have from whatever the vertex has, but uh, I'm going to try to teach you guys how to completely weight paint from scratch. So. I'm going to delete all of this, all the vertex group, delete all group. Now this will not move because it has no weight paint uh, values or data. So okay, uh, let's start with by throwing on a quick weight paint from using the vertex group from the body. 
So we are going to use a modifier tool. Uh, let's just get rid of those. Uh, okay, data transfer, that's what you want. Add that modifier, and then in the modifier, you want to add check vertex data, vertex group. Um, it's going to need a source object. Source object meaning it's going to grab whatever vertex group from an existing mesh and then transfer it over to the, the outfit here because it has nothing. So, um, right now, the body is one piece. What I want to do is hit grab this simple point. Uh, separate by material. Go back to object mode. Now you have everything in pieces. Uh, now in the modifier, make sure you grab eyedropper. Select body is a fork, so it this is what it's re referencing to. Uh, and then just hit generate data. So hit check to apply. So when you go to uh, we paint. Uh, let's see. Paint. Oh, uh, make sure you select the armature. Make sure it's in pose mode. And then put the grab the outfit. Put it to weight paint. Okay. And I am going to. It's a little dark, so I'm going to put the the viewport to vertex color only, so that I can see better. So as you can see, it looks kind of messy, very janky, not perfectly smooth. And this is due just to from the generated, you know, quick automatic weight paint from the body. Uh, so what you want to do here is just basically clean up. It's one of the quickest ways just to grab a, a an outfit with no weight paint and just throw on the weight paint to kind of match what you have for the uh, the body. So it's not perfect. It's kind of need a lot of fixes here, but uh. What I want to do for this is probably smooth everything out. You can do it two ways. You can either hit the weight paint or weight uh, uh, option here and hit smooth. Uh, it's going to smooth just once, but if you want to repeat the uh, the last action you did, which was you know, smooth, shift R will repeat the action that you just did. So it's going to smooth again and again and again. As you can see, this is a lot smoother. Second method is to use the blur tool. Make sure you have the uh, mirror on uh, in tools. Make sure this is also on mirror. So whatever you do to one side, oops. Oh, right. Um, yeah, you might not want to use this for uh, two sides. Uh, for something like this, it's perfect because it's both sides is mirrored. All right, kind of just blur brush this, but for the breast here, you don't want to do that. I would use the smooth uh button here, smooth, and then shift R, smooth it like five times. This five times one two three four five, one two three four five, one, two three four five. Probably to here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so uh, this shoulder area is probably gonna need some smoothing. Uh, I also might want to delete the vertex group here, uh, just so that it doesn't. It's not really, you know, on the outfit. It shouldn't be influencing it. So I'm just gonna delete that by erasing the vertex group entirely. So this is going to turn purple. Uh, purple means it has no influence or uh, weight paint data. All right. Right here, I'm probably just going to smooth. Shift, uh, shift R to smooth repeatedly. And do the same to the side. Shift R. Okay, not smooth. I'm going to delete the vertex group for this side. Now it's purple, so that's good. I'm going to check the neck. Yeah, the, you don't want that. So I'm going to delete the vertex group for the neck and for the head, just in case. All right. Nope. 
Um, smooth this again. It must have control Z. Smooth, 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 shift R. Smooth this. Smooth this. Smooth this. All right, so everything should be a little bit smooth. It's gonna be some areas that you wanna fix. And this I probably don't need. I'm just gonna delete the vertex group for that. Delete the vertex group for that. The butt, uh, I'm gonna smooth that as well. Smooth. Okay, so once you got everything smoothed out, uh, you're gonna start by cleaning up um, certain areas. For example, uh, the spine bone. Um, you don't want weight paint here because I'm just gonna just stretch that area, right? Um, so there's uh, I'm gonna show you guys two ways of um, accurately uh, erasing something instead of just doing the um, using the draw tool here uh, and then having to subtract and then doing by hand. It's slow and it's going to um, leave some areas that you might might have missed. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to completely erase something cleanly and you know through the whole mesh itself instead of going around erasing on the surface. So there's something called the linear gradient tool. So just for uh, as an example I'm going to just select a leg. This is perfect. So uh, as you can see, this is completely weight painted to this bone, right? And uh, when you hit the uh, here subtract tool, uh, the linear gradient tool, when you hold Alt, you're going to make a line. That line is going to race. It's going to affect as if there was a gradient. Think of an imaginary line going through that. Uh, Along per uh, perpendicular to the little dashed line that you're doing, right? It is basically just a giant gradient, like that stretched infinitely. It'll just stretch up and down. And same goes for when you're adding, right? And also, again, this is going to affect both sides. It's going to uh, affect everything through what you're looking at. So generally, it it's useful in some cases. So for this case, uh, this is just subtracting, right? Subtracting is really good for certain areas such as this, right? Just use the gradient tool just to pull it up. Now that part is not affected. It's completely erased, and it went through the whole thing. So you know this is perfectly gone and this is moving perfectly. And the second tool to also get used to is the radial um, uh, uh, weight paint brush. So to do that is by holding control alt, uh, you're going to make a, a, little, uh, a little circle that gradually gets bigger as in as you pull out, it's going to make like a circle kind of um, effect of that brush, right? And again, I can also add certain areas here. That's basically how it works. This is good for um, if you don't want to, you know, uh, affect both sides, for example. Uh, you want to only affect one, so uh, you can, let's see, this is add, right? So you can just go like that by holding Control, Control Alt, and then going around and going through it, making sure everything is red. Right. This is more accurate than the gradient one. The gradient one is, you know, a case by case uh, method of uh, getting clean weight paint instead of physically manually doing it by hand. And I do often use it just to erase quick things too. So uh, just put some practice into that, and it'll be natural. Let's see, I'm checking certain areas here. Mm. 
Okay, I don't want that to clip too much when the breast is moving side to side with the dynamic bones. I'm going to subtract, uh, grab the linear gradient tool, kind of push it in like that. Push it in like this a little bit. Grab the blur tool and then slightly blur. And I'm gonna pull it up a little, oops. Track, pull it up like that. And then blur again. I'm gonna try to do that the same to the other side. Subtract, pull this in, pull this up. Unfortunately, there isn't a uh, mirror method for this. But again, this is a quick method. Let's quickly do it on this side. I might pull this in a little bit. Blur, 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 and then blur the side too. All right. It's still clipping a lot. Might pull it in a little bit more. And personally, I might add a little bit of weight paint here. So I'm going to add a mirror modifier again on here. Just click X. I'm gonna click X here. And then go to the draw tool, add, and then quickly. Add a middle point here and then blur it. I want to grab the subtract tool, kind of erase a little bit, and then blur it again. That way it's not going to clip as much. Perfect. I'm going to fix this as well. Oops. And turn off mirror mode. Okay. Perfect. Alright, and for the legs, let's see. Still some clipping in here, so I'm gonna quickly erase that. Uh Pull this down a little bit. Now this would be perfect for a linear gradient tool because it's straight, right? Just it's like a straight erase right here. Blur that area. Do the same for the other leg. Blur that. Blur this. And then blur again. Alright, sweet. Uh the drawstring is gonna get pulled, so I'm gonna Use the radial uh, subtract, so control alt, oops, control alt, subtract. Do the same for the other leg, control alt. There. So the drawstring is not getting affected. Let's see. Yeah. So uh, certain areas like this, I might kind of subtract a little bit. And then blur. And just check around to see if there's any clipping in certain areas. There's clipping here, so I'm going to fix that. I'm going to select everything and then Alt. R to reset the rotations, so it goes back to default mode. I'm gonna use the linear subtract, kind of go like that. There, and then blur it, blur this area. So now it's going to oh, gets it's affected by the leg. Yep. So I'm gonna use the radio again. Just go like that. This should blur it. Okay, 
uh, this area I might add a little bit more, a little bit more where we paint. So uh, add tool and then add. This for that area and then blur it. I'm gonna add it here because it should be red. I think I fixed it. Okay, cool. And you can also use a smear tool if you want. It's pretty useful. I don't want to blur it too much. Okay. Now, uh, also another quick way to fix this, or to Mirror, uh, we paint from one, uh, one leg to another, because again, I don't want to, I want to save time and not redo it on this leg. So what you can do is, um, use the copy method. You can copy vertex groups here and then mirror them. So for example, I'm going to copy everything on this, uh, this leg and then copy, uh, mirror it to, uh, the left leg here, or the right leg, there, her right leg. So I'm just going to erase this and then get rid of this. So now there's there's no way paint for the legs at all. So uh, click on the thing you want to copy, hit the arrow down, copy vertex group, and then make sure you hit mirror, mirror group. And this only works if everything is perfectly mirrored. It will try its best to, you know, uh, mirror all the vertices that um, it has white paint on. Like, for example, this area is not perfectly white painted. So, uh, I'm going to probably just erase this. And then, add tool. Use the radial. Just add it back. Okay. Now, it uh, the thing you copied, you need to make sure it's renamed to right knee. So now it's right knee. It will assign that vertex group that you just copied and mirrored to this bone. Now it's perfectly way painted exactly like this. I'll do the same for this leg. So left leg, arrow down, copy vertex group, and then mirror again. So it's mirror. And make sure you check. Okay, now let's just rename it to see the end result. Right leg. Okay. Now it's named. Okay. Don't see anything wrong. Uh, just for safety, I'm just gonna grab the subtract tool and linear gradient subtraction just a little bit. To make sure I I delete everything on the side, so might do the same for the legs. Okay, so we paint should be perfect. Again, if there's clipping issues, you can just go back and then fix it some more. Uh, right here, I don't want we paint. Oops, subtract, linear, gradient. Let's pull that down. I might subtract this as well. Okay, perfect. All right, it's looking pretty good. I don't see anything clipping too much. All right, and 
think that's good for now. I'm going to switch back to texture again. But yeah, um, if you guys have any questions, or uh, if you're still lost, uh, just let me know. Uh, you can also ask me in the Discord channel, and I'll try to help you guys out with this. Uh, but again, thank you for watching, and that's how you paint new clothing on two different bodies. Alright, so uh, I'll catch you guys later.